Hello everyone and thank you for stopping by the Alabama Woodsman, a channel of satire, comedy, and entertainment. Basically just a channel of me calling it the way I see it. Now, if you like what you see, consider hitting the like button, give me a thumbs up, maybe consider uh, subscribing. And if you don't like what you see, be sure to write a comment down below and tell me what you didn't like and why. And if you do, I may take your comment and make a funny video about what you said. So today we're going to talk about Rose Dixon, the wife of Timothy Dixon. Um, she made a video. Let's see. It was March 10th of 2021. And it is titled Whirlwind Has Begun and the Red Tide Trump Prevails. Uh, it's already got 70,000 views since March. That's impressive. Um, the comments are turned off, which normally I never, ever, ever trust a video that has the comments turned off. Because basically what they're saying is I don't want to defend my position. I don't want any comment. I just want to say it. I want you to watch it. I want the clicks and all that stuff. However, because this is a lady... And we are in the state that we are in this country with all the sleaze bags. I have no problem with this, uh, the comments being turned off here. Uh, I think it's a very wise decision to turn off the comments if a lady is going to um, get on YouTube and, um, well, you can, you can figure out why I think that. Anyway. So no foul there for turning off comments. Uh, Mr. Dixon turns off comments all the time. Uh, there's some talk about somebody trying to scam some people using his name, and that's understandable. But sometimes I think he just doesn't want to have to defend what's being said. It's just speculation. Okay, so let's get into it. This is the video right here. You see the picture. This is the video that I will be commenting on. A little bit different format. You won't see me again until the very end takes up too many gig of, of, of space, and my computer's not that great, so you won't see me again until I, I do a closing. So let's talk about this video. Good morning, my name is Rose. I'm Timothy Dixon's wife. I just wanna share with you today about a dream that I had early this morning. Ladies and gentlemen, it would seem that Mrs. Dixon is also gifted with uh, prophetic dreams. Um, that's very interesting. That's very interesting. I, uh, I didn't know she was in that kind of ministry. Um, I don't know anything about this lovely lady. As you watch the video, you will see she is a very sweet person. Uh, but I, I, I didn't know. I thought, uh, just Timothy was getting these dreams, but it seems to have rubbed off on Mrs. Dixon. I had a dream that, um, a whirlwind had hit America. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have talked before about what I call prophet speak or false prophet speak or even Christian speak. A whirlwind could be anything that the prophetess wants it to be. It could be an actual wind, a tornado, straight line winds, whatever, uh, knocking trees over. So they could say, see, I told you a whirlwind, it's a sign. Or it could be a change in the political atmosphere or power structure. And then they could say, see, a political whirlwind came and, and changed everything. And so basically, this is just, this is just more uh, false prophet speak that you can apply it to whatever you want to apply it to. And it, it, it's, it's made to leave an open door so that later you can then come back and say, see, I told you so. That, that's all this is. Um, no one's ever explaining what the whirlwind is. Why can't we get, you, you see a whirlwind, why can't you tell me what it's about? All you can say is it's a whirlwind. And when I woke up, the Lord spoke these words to me. The whirlwind has begun and the red tide. Now, I've heard Timothy talk about the red tide. Uh, you know, I think what he's saying is going to be applied to uh, the next election. Should the Republicans take the House? That would be the red tide. Um, but it could really be anything. I, I can't think of what it could be. Uh, but if the, the Republicans take the House, I will almost guarantee you, he will come back and say, that was the red tide 
that uh, I was talking about. Uh, however, you'll, you'll hear in just a minute where she says she didn't know anything about the red tide. Uh, I guess Mr. Dixon has not shared with his wife what the red tide is because, I mean, he's not shared it with us either. But she says she called a friend and she talked to Mr. Dixon, but she never tells you what the red tide is. She talked to these people, but she never tells you what the red tide is. Another opened-end prophecy that could be anything. It could absolutely be anything. To make the connection with a red tide is not that hard. This morning when I woke up, I didn't realize what the red tide was. So I um, texted a lady and my husband and pretty much asked him what the red tide meant. Um, I'm not too familiar about things such as that. But I just wanted to tell y'all um, this short little dream. And I believe that this whirlwind that um, the Lord showed me in this dream, I believe with all that's within me that it's about the whirlwind that's going to hit the capital. Okay, I'm, I'm not trying to be a jerk. Um, I know some people are going to say, oh, you're attacking a lady. No, no, I'm, I am criticizing what she's saying. Um, we need to be able to question the prophets and prophetesses. So at first, in the very beginning of the video, she said that the Lord said that this whirlwind was hitting America. And now she says that she thinks the whirlwind is hitting the Capitol. So which is it? America or the Capitol? And um, I pray that the Lord has mercy. And she goes on to talk about... Um, dealing with fear, the fear of all these things happening. And uh, then she offers a prayer, which was, was very nice. Um, so that was the gist of the dream. But I, I want to point out something. I didn't know if you noticed this. Look at this picture right here. This one right here. And now look at what I've circled. If you look, it is the same picture that Akiana Kramerik painted. Uh, that has been said, this is the true face of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. I know people who bought this painting. Um, and in fact, I for a little while believed the story that she had seen Jesus and this was him. That she painted this painting from memory. However, folks, if you'll look at this video, also from YouTube titled Painting the Impossible by Akiana Kramerik, you will see starting at about the minute mark 1140 and going through the minute mark 1305 that she says this is a model that came to her door through a mutual friend. He was nearly seven foot tall and he was a carpenter. But folks, this is not the face of of Jesus Christ. This is a model she used to paint this uh, interpretation of Jesus Christ. In fact, uh, Akiana has painted three images of Jesus Christ as she sees him, and they are all three different. She will tell you that she is spiritual, but will not say she is a Christian. Three different images of Jesus Christ. So the reason I point this out with the Dixons is basically it would appear, and I'm sorry if this sounds harsh, it would appear they'll believe anything without researching it. Because, see, I know Timothy believes in apostles for today's time, which is heresy. That is just ridiculous that you think apostles are here today. They have schools to teach you how to be an apostle. They have schools to teach you how to be a prophet. You just give them your $370 and bam, you are in classes learning how to be a prophet. I mean, Mr. Bickle says that you don't even have to be but about 20% accurate and you're okay with him. We all know he's a heretic. But I want to show you the, the pictures, and there's three of them. They really believe this is the face of Jesus Christ. Just take a few minutes and research and see what the painting's about. 
Don't believe everything that comes to you as being the Lord's words just because it sounds good. We need to stop that. We need to start questioning and trying the spirits and see if they line up with the Word of God. That's what we need to do. And until we start doing that, we are going to be tricked and fooled and made fool of. And the world is laughing at us. And the Bible says that when this happens, they won't get saved. They won't, get, they won't want what we have because we look like idiots. And then God will treat them as Sodom and Gomorrah. Jeremiah chapter 23 verse 16. Okay, folks, there it is. Short and sweet. That's, that's the way I see it. Um, I'm sorry if it seemed that I was attacking a lady. I didn't want to come across that way. <clears throat> I actually debated on whether or not to even do this video, but, um, you know, you, you, you get on YouTube and you say you've had a dream, and then there's contradictions in that dream. We all know Jesus does not contradict himself. Now, the prophet Dixon will tell you that Jesus will change his mind. See, he's getting ready when, when Trump's not put back in office here in about three days by the end of August. He's going to say that God changed his mind, and that's why Trump's not in office. Um, you know, I I don't know what to tell you. Uh, I'm sorry. I felt dirty doing this, but I, th I thought it needed to be done. Uh, Mrs. Dixon is a lovely lady. Um, her spirit, she like I said, she offered a prayer afterwards. Her prayer was, was very, uh, I felt, sincere. Uh, so it seems to be a very, very sweet woman. Mr. Dixon, you're a lucky man. However, I, I can't just let stuff like this go. But uh, anyway, I'm out of here. I got I to gotta go find an aspirin somewhere. And I hope to see you again on the Alabama Woodsman.